There are three ecosystems in the smart home market. Amazon Echo, Apple HomePod and Google Home. If you have chosen Google Home, you have chosen the best for voice commands. But currently not the best for smart home, as Google Home cannot trigger routines via sensors like motion sensors and door window sensors, which it has been promising for almost two years. Routines can only be triggered via voice or time of day. If you already have Philips Hue or Samsung Smart Things or other hubs, you can connect sensors to them, but they will not show up inside Google Home. But there is one way to get around Google's limitations, but you will need to get hold of an Amazon Echo. The cheapest one will do. Here is the first generation that was launched in the UK. As sensors do appear in Amazon Alexa app, you can use the sensors to trigger a say something routine. They can then be used to tell your Google speaker to run a routine like turn on the lights or play music. Hey Google, in home. Hi, welcome home. To do this, first in the Google Home app, select Routines. And create a routine. I've already created one called I'm Home. which gives the command to play BBC Radio 1 on the downstairs speaker group. Then open up the Alexa app. Then from the bottom right, select More, then Routines. Click the plus button from the top right. To create a new routine, give it a name, then choose our sensor, under Smart Home, change it to Detected. If you want, you can select the days of the week and times that you want this action to happen. You can then set a duration to stop the sensor triggering again for that length of time. Click Next, then Add. Add Action. Alexa says, customize, then type in, hey Google. And then the Google routine name. And that's it. This is a simple way to trigger routines until Google enables sensors to trigger routines within the Google Home app. Hey Google, I'm home. Hi, welcome home. With my Philips Hue sensor, that was a quick look at how to set up triggers via sensors within the Google Home app, but you will need an Amazon Echo to set it up. 
Any questions, any comments, leave them down below.